is Saxon Wan and welcome to Want the Facts. On today's episode, we're going to be jumping into signatures. How do I collect a signature in Field Pulse internally and externally? I'm going to answer all of these questions for you today. Let's get into the video. The most common area where people are collecting signatures in Field Pulse is on their estimates and invoices. And this can be solely on the estimate or invoice or via a contract which is attached to these records. You can create these and send them to your customers from both the web app and the mobile, and you can collect signatures as well from both of your devices. So I'm going to firstly show you on the web app and quickly show you on the mobile how you can do this. So you can see I have this one for a Barry New in front of me. And please note that under the contracts, I have no contract attached at the moment. So what you want to do is go ahead and view your quote. Here you can preview anything, make sure it looks how you would like it. Currently it doesn't have a sign and accept option. When you go to email customer, scroll down, you can see include a signature request. You can toggle that on. And when you send this through to your customer, it can now have a sign and accept. You will come to this pop-up page first and it's prompting you to attach a contract. If you don't have a contract, you can simply go ahead and go without a contract. Your customer will sign the estimate and invoice alone. If you did have a general terms and conditions contract, you could search that there. Or if you did have a specific one for this type of work that you're doing, you'd be able to search and select it there. Now, if you want your customers to always be signing your quotes and your estimates, you can turn it on as a default. So what you want to do if you want to set this up is head over to your company settings, quotes and invoices, preview settings, and you want to scroll down to default PDF settings. You're going to see an option down the bottom, default display signature button just here. So you wanna turn that on. Now your estimates and invoices will always have a signature request. Furthermore, if you wanna have a specific contract, contract always attached to your estimate or invoice, you can do that as well. You can see at the top, attach contract to PDF, toggle that on, and it will prompt you how many signature lines you would like your customer to have and which contract. So you do want to scroll up and make sure that you have saved any of these uh, customizations. Now, if you're curious to see what the signature actually looks like from your customer side, I'll show you that now. Heading over to a quote. As you can see on the web app right now, this is a preview of what your customers would see if they're viewing their estimate or invoice from their laptop and you've sent a dynamic invoice. You can see they have a sign and accept button there and they can sign or type their signature just there. Now, if they're opening it up from a tablet, it looks pretty similar, but the signing accept button is just to scroll away and the same with mobile. Now, some people like to send the records over to the customer to collect the signature. However, others like to actually do it in person. So you might be on a job discussing the upcoming job, showing them the quote, and you want to collect the signature there in person because they've agreed to the service. So you can do this from your laptop using the preview, as you can see right here, sign and accept. Simply click the sign and accept and get your customer to use your laptop to sign. However, most people are going to be using the mobile app. Now, most people do like to collect their customer signature in person from the mobile app. So as you can see, I have Barry's new quote opened up just here. I want to select on that action button in the bottom right. And from here, I want to generate preview fifth from the top. Now we have this present button. It's the blue middle button. Select on that and it brings you a really nice customer friendly version. You can hand your phone over to your customer. They can preview this, see any details, check out the contract, um, leave a comment if they wanted to. And they have that sign and accept button there on their screen. So you can collect your customer's signature. Now, once you have collected your customer's signature, where is this recorded? in the web app, in the mobile. So whenever your customer signs, whether this be from an email which they have been sent independently or if you're in person with them collecting their signature, it's going to be stored under the file record, so the quote or the estimate record under the files tab. I just collected a signature on Barry's new estimate. So if I go over to files, I'm going to be able to see that signed document which I just collected just there. 
has the date and has the two signatures, which I just collected from the mobile app. So you can go ahead and download this, you could print this, you can send it uh, through to your customer if you wanted to as well. Now there's a couple of other areas where Field Pulse allows you to collect a signature, this being custom forms. So this is a feature which comes with all standard accounts. Go ahead to your company settings, features and plugins, and you can enable that feature there. Once you do have these custom forms set up, you're able to collect a signature. So this can be useful for internal activities if you need your team to fill out a report and collect a signature, or maybe there's a sort of questionnaire or a service um, a report which you want your customers to fill out. You can collect their signature as well. So how do you get this set up? I'm gonna show you on the web app through a job record. So I have this job here, measure roof and get quoted. So I might wanna go over to forms just here, and create a new form. So you can see these are all of my current custom forms. I'm going to go to roof takeoff. And as you can see, custom forms just allow you to have uh, several different fields with text prompts. So either your team or your customer can fill this out. So let's just fill out a one of these fields for this example and go ahead and save. From here, you will generate a PDF and you will have the option to collect a signature. So firstly, what you need to do is go ahead and save. And from here, you can either send it to be filled if you have PDF form filler, or you can collect a signature on this independently. If you don't have that feature, you will see the button to collect a signature. So you can also collect a signature from a custom form on the mobile app. So as you can see, I have the job opened up here. I'm going to scroll over to forms. Here I can see my roof takeoff form and I'm going to go ahead and select the actions button, generate a PDF. And here you can see in the bottom right hand corner, sign PDF is an option. Pop my phone sideways and I can leave my signature and paste it where I want it. So once again, this can be used internally with your team, with your admin, with your service agents, uh, filling out any information on a job, or you can fill it out with a customer. Uh, maybe you're in a quote and you have several different fields, customization on the service that you're offering. And at the end, you wanna just make sure you capture your customer's signature to conclude that they agree on everything that you have captured. So there is another area which we do collect signatures and this is contracts through dynamic proposals. So if I jump over to our dynamic proposal option, when you are creating or editing your proposal, you can add a contract page. So as you can see, I'm going to edit this roofing report proposal. And if I scroll down and I add a new page, the page type that I can add could be a contract. I would be able to select my contract and you can see on this preview here that we have a sign now option. So I'm quickly going to scroll up and save and show you what this would look like in real time on a full screen page. So you can see down the bottom, you're gonna have your contract, your details in your contract in the box just here, and your customer can go ahead and sign now. Now, once again, this can be done on the mobile app. This can be done on the web app. You can send this to your customer as well for them to sign independently. I wanted to spend a little bit of time on our PDF form filler. So this is a fantastic feature. It really allows you to digitalize a whole bunch of paperwork, which you might be doing manually at the moment. With this feature, you would upload a PDF form, something that you might currently be printing out and um, filling out by hand, or you can build a completely new customized form through this feature. With these forms, you can then attach them to jobs, estimates, invoices, fill them out internally, send them out to your customers, and there's a whole bunch of features so you can have drop-down fields. As you can see on my screen, I have an excavation and trenching PDF form, and you can see this is a little preview. You can have your text fields here. You can have checkpoints. You can have uh, drop-down fields as well, and down the bottom, we have a sign feature and a date feature. So this can be attached to jobs, estimates, invoices, a whole bunch of records, and allows you to collect your signatures as well. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. We do have several options in Field Pulse where you can collect your signatures, estimates, invoices, contracts, dynamic proposals, forms, any forms, any files, if you do wanna use our PDF form filler. And we do also have a 
drawer option on your pictures. So I'm going to quickly show you, you might want to utilize this feature for your team to sign images or even have your customer signature. Now I'm going to go to a job record and I'm going to go um, take a photo. So I'm going to take a photo, just an example here, done. From here, I have that paintbrush in the top right hand corner. So what I might want to do, for example, is I can see damage on the site which I'm going to be working on. And I want to make sure that the customer knows and my boss knows that there is already a hole in the wall here. And I'm going to sign down the bottom. And I'm also going to get the customer to sign as well. So perhaps you want to get them to just sign this image to say they've seen this. We can go done. And we also might want to toggle on that date and timestamp and we can upload that. So we have a draw feature. You might want to utilize that with signature as well. Now that was a great question which was sent in by uh, our users at Field Pulse. And I hope this video has helped to show you some further functionality around our program. If you have any questions, you can please reach out to us. We have our chat box, we have our phone numbers, email, and you can also just leave a comment down below. We have a whole bunch of social media, so YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Feel free to leave comments. We'll be able to assist you on any of those programs as well. Now, I hope you have a wonderful day. And this was Saxon, and now you have the facts. Take care, guys.